Hello and a warm welcome to our Year 8 students and parents and carers. I'm going to be providing you with information on our upcoming Year 8 residential trip which is taking place after half term from Monday the 28th of February to Wednesday the 2nd of March and I'd like to start off by sharing an exhilarating video with you just to give you a flavour of what you can expect. Please take a moment to scroll down and click on the link below to watch this video. Year 8, I really do hope that you are smiling throughout that short clip and are really enjoying what lays ahead. So there are six aims of this trip. We really want our students to have fun, enjoy themselves. Um, it's about students developing their character, about having personal challenge, and that will look different for, for different students, improving their skills, improving relationships with their peers, and having a real residential experience. So we have 16 members of staff, a mixture of teaching staff and support staff who will be attending the trip. That includes myself, Miss Matthews, the head of year eight, Mrs. Stansbury, our Senko, multiple members of the leadership team, a variety of teachers and support staff. So just to recap, we will be going to Grosvenor Hall, that is in Ashford, Kent, relatively close to school. It takes approximately one hour to travel to Grosvenor Hall. I'd like to share some key facts about Kingswood with you as parents, some of you may have heard of it, may be very familiar with them as a provider, whereas others may, may not be familiar. So Kingswood are one of the most experienced providers of outdoor education in the UK. They were founded over 30 years ago. They've got nine centres in the United Kingdom. They welcome over 165,000 young people from more than 75 countries around the world annually. And this is really important they offer young people an unforgettable, life-changing adventure in a safe, controlled and nurturing environment. Now, Kingswood has an outstanding record for safety and security. So, so that you're aware, all instructors are qualified in delivering activities. All staff undergo enhanced DBS checks. All of their staff receive NSPCC safeguarding training. They have secure boundaries around the centre and regular night patrols are standard practice. And all their centres have been inspected and awarded the LOTC quality badge, which is a national accreditation system to demonstrate excellence in learning outside the classroom experiences. We will be travelling with Banstead coaches to and from Grosvenor Hall. Um, it's really important that students are wearing their seat belts whilst on the coach and we will be having a briefing with all students attending the trip to really reinforce those expectations. You'll see from uh, this image that standard dormitory style accommodation is provided. You can see from the photo sheets, duvets and pillows are provided for all the students and they get to make their own bed. Um, some students, this will be a regular chore that they do at home, whereas others uh, may need support from some of their more experienced peers. So we have two adjacent buildings uh, in which our students will be staying in. Our Durham building will be for the girls and the York building um, will be homing our boys. Uh, important to note, towels are not provided. That is on the equipment list on the letter room allocation will be confirmed so on the letter there's a link to a microsoft form students can indicate their preferences on who they would like to share a room with and as you can see from that screenshot there will be adults on every corridor and every floor some more bits of key information in terms of food students will receive breakfast lunch and dinner those are really balanced nutritional meals. It's a buffet style, so there's lots on offer. Students can pick from a hot or cold meal, a salad option, etc. Um, 
water is included with all their meals and kings would cater for all dietary requirements for example halal vegetarians or vegans and you can see here's a screenshot of a breakfast menu and you can see you've got all the icons of the allergens um, that students will be able to see so they can make informed decisions about what they are eating. Here is a draft itinerary. So on Monday, we'll arrive at Kingswood. Students will be able to make their beds and unpack. And then they'll be engaging with their first activity, followed by dinner. And then after dinner, they will be having a second activity. The next day, we start the day with breakfast. We've got two activities followed by lunch, followed by another two activities, followed by dinner and a fifth activity. So you can see it's a jam packed day full of lots of exciting activities. And then on the Wednesday, students will wake up, have breakfast. They have two activities before they depart and head back to school. Here are a list of activities that are subject to change. You can see obstacle challenge, mini Olympics, climbing, abseiling, shelter building, nightline, scrap heat challenge, problem solving and archery. And for all the activities, students will be in groups um, with a maximum size of 15 students. In terms of pocket money, we need our students to be really responsible. We are asking students to bring, bring no more than £10. There is a gift shop um, at Grosvenor Hall, so students will be able to buy snacks, drinks, postcards to write home to you and souvenirs to remember their wonderful experience. On the letter you've received, um, you'll see all the items that your son or daughter will need to pack for the trip. Um, but I'd like to cover items that should be packed with caution. So Harris Academy Sutton and Grosvenor Hall will not accept any liability for mobile phones, cameras, music devices, um, expensive clothing or footwear, for example. So we really do need our students to be responsible and think about if things like cameras and music devices are essential. We are saying that no electronic games such as a Nintendo Switch are allowed on the trip and no smartwatches are allowed. In terms of students using their phones, we'll be giving students really clear rules on the use of social media, taking photos and when in the day their phones can be used. So there will be a time in the day after dinner in which students can use their phones. Um, but all of that will be communicated with the students. If we, as teachers, need to get in contact with you, we'll be able to call you. We've got all your contact details. Um, so if we need to communicate with you, we can. We have a student code of conduct that will be asking students to sign in school. And we also have a parental contract, which um, please sign and your son or daughter can return that to school in the white letterbox by reception. In terms of health and safety requirements, um, certain activities will require students to wear helmets um, and also long sleeve tops and trousers. So we'll inform students what activities they have planned for each day so that they can um, put the appropriate clothing on to meet those health and safety requirements. To finish with, I have a handful of frequently asked questions. So firstly, will my child have a key to their room? So none of the students have keys to rooms. Um, once inside the room, they'll be able to lock it from the inside, but that's, the, that's that. Um, we as staff will have a master key should we need to have access to any of the rooms. Next question, will my child be able to pray? Absolutely. Um, there are rooms at Grosvenor Hall um, that will be provided to us in order for students to pray should they wish. Are there accessible facilities? 
We do have accessible rooms and shower facilities. And can I be in a group with people who are not in my tutor group? Most definitely. So on the letter that's been sent home, there is a link to a Microsoft form in which you can indicate who you would like to share a room with. And we will endeavour to do our best to fulfil uh, those requests and you will most definitely be sharing a room with at least one person on your preference form. Thank you for listening to this presentation. If you do have any further questions that I have not answered in this presentation, please feel free to get in contact with me and I'll be more than happy to help. Really looking forward to the trip and I will be writing with further information on timings on the day and upon return in due course. Thank you very much.